YouTube, what's going on guys? So you probably see all this in the LDP shirt and like the same night with the galaxy paint because we are just picking up where we left off with the Jay-Z, but this is with my CA stuff. Now, if you guys are watching the Jay-Z build and you're keeping up with that first video there, you guys saw that he's got the Jay-Z to-do list. Well, I have a CA18 to-do list and I'm up in the air right now, guys, because I have found another engine, actually two of them here in Florida, Central Florida, that are not very far from me. One of them only needs an oil pump. The other one has a, a, a weird tick to it and I want that engine for parts for this engine over here so that I can take that to the Midwest and you know do something with that because I really want to put a, another CA and another 240 and keep drifting. Or keep up with my 240, my CA that I'm not going to have for very long that I could just pay for my machine work now because I'm going to spend 700 alone just on pistons plus bearings, oil pump, uh, the main bearing kit and then obviously the head gasket and a gasket kit. So that's going to be fifteen to $2,000 or just buy another engine for seven, $800. I already have a harness. I have an ECU. I can, if I want to, take my head and drop my head on it, have it decked, throw a new head gasket on there, and I know what I'm running. The guy's got a uh, T25, T28 hybrid. It also comes with a harness, and uh, it's just kind of up in the air right now. It's something that it makes sense to me, and I want to go to the November event. There's no doubt about it. I want to go to the November event, and it's to the point where I might just sell the G, put some more money into the uh, S13, looking by maybe a cheap Cherokee or something, have another little cheap daily, beat that thing around. That way I can really put some money and some time into the S13 and drift these next couple months really hard and uh, just get some good seat time and, and enjoy it. Let me stop rambling about that. Let me show you guys. While well, I got just a little bit of light out here, I'm kind of just messing around with the colors. Uh, in the engine bay, you can't really see the ones that are over here, but I got a blue, and this teal is what everyone likes, and obviously this is what you guys are going to see right now. So maybe tomorrow morning I'll check up with you guys and show you uh, the engine bay. But I've got the harness, everything pulled out. I foamed it up with some degreaser, let that sit, pressure washed it. Got the CA harness out right here. I'm going to take that inside, kind of clean that up, go through the harness a little bit, fix any wires that are showing, um, put some new shrink wrap and such on those, and that's about it for the CA as of right now. This work week, I'm going to keep on messing with the uh, intake manifold that you guys saw in that last video. I did all that delete stuff. I don't know if this is going to be the part two of it or if I'll make that a separate video, but I do want to follow up with that stuff. Finish that guy off, have that ready, and then finish cleaning the rest of my intake, getting that thing all thrown together, and basically just getting this engine prepped up. In case I buy another engine, I'll swap everything over. Obviously, use my head, my intake, uh, my turbo uh, manifold, probably buy a new turbo, and uh, just slap that thing in there and get to drifting. An absolute worst case scenario, if I have issues with that engine, I don't know, maybe I can just throw my engine back to the machine shop and they can finish off what they started. So that's up in the air. That's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment. Don't really know what the best idea would be because I'm only gonna be living in Florida for another, I don't know, eight months, six months maybe. But I really wanna just have my last few months here with my drifting time and just kind of go out with a bang, really get some seat time in, and that's kind of what I'm focused on. And that three-day event in November would be awesome. It's so worth the money. It's a good time with my friends, good time with my car, really test my skills and everything, so it's kind of what I'm up in the air about right now. So if you guys have any suggestions, any ideas for me, drop them below, because any opinions uh, would, would be awesome, just kind of a helpful hand. Other than that, guys, I'm going to uh, probably just check in with you guys tomorrow and continue this video then. So. So if you guys couldn't tell, I have purchased another CA like I talked about in the beginning of the video. It was up in the air. I don't know, uh, or I didn't know if I was gonna pick this guy up and I uh, actually ended up working a deal that was a little bit better than what I had originally talked to him about and uh, I bought another CA. So, a few cool things on it. T25, T28 hybrid from ISR. It's like not even six months uh, old. And then there's an Exedi uh, OE clutch that's seen maybe 10 of events. It's got some silicone hoses on it. RB20 coil packs, the clutch fan. I finally have an alternator bracket that's gonna work. And it actually has some of these cool sensors, although I'm not gonna use them, I'm gonna hold on to them you know, for another CA build down the road. Here it is, another CA. This is what I'm gonna be dropping in my car to get my 240 back up and back to drifting. Shout out to Talon again. I uh, installed a lift kit for him on his uh, Tacoma here. Some new Bilstein shocks, little leveling kit. So uh, we worked out a deal. He would come down here and uh, pay for gas and 
make this pretty easy for me. So there's a little spacer kit there, some Bilstein shocks and such. Pretty awesome uh, ride quality from the Tacoma. You know, it does good as always. Other than that, guys, I don't really have much for you right now. We're just gonna go grab a bite to eat, hang out for a little bit, and then hit the road and head back home. I might tear into this guy a little bit, open it up, see how she looks. I'm only gonna be uh, doing probably an oil pump in it and uh, obviously another compression test because we had an issue with that. Uh, yeah, but that, that's it, guys. I will uh, see you at the house probably in like eight hours. I'm just joking. I'll see you guys shortly. We are all back in the garage. We've got the CA out of the Tacoma. I didn't film any of the stuff of us unloading and cleaning and all that stuff because who cares, really? Honestly, you guys just want to see this engine. Be put in my car and me go drifting, so... I'm gonna make this short and sweet. What we're doing with this guy is basically taking the intake manifold off, throwing my intake manifold on it. I've got a brand new T25, T28 ISR hybrid here with this uh, nice steel manifold. I'll probably run this. Keep the head to this block, flip this thing over, probably replace the oil pump in it, throw my Gates racing timing belt on it, and that's about it. He's replaced the water pump. He's uh, replaced the coolant temp sensor, uh, the Xeti clutch on the rear. I'm gonna throw my oil cooler on it. You know, just the basics. Basically swap everything over from my running engine, all this junk over here, whatever I need, throw it on this guy, get it ready, and then get ready to drop this into the car. So tomorrow we're probably gonna hook my trans up to the back of it and then bolt my starter. That way we can do a compression test, see what the numbers are looking like, and then we will go from there. So with that being said, guys, it's like 1.45. As you can see, I look like a mess. And I'm tired, I'm exhausted, so I will just see you guys tomorrow or sometime throughout this week. I know the CA stuff's kind of sporadic just because it's really not stuff to kind of follow up on. I could honestly just tell you this in one video, but I want to show you guys as it's happening and, you know, each day that I'm working with it or messing with it. So I'll follow up with you guys then. See ya. What's going on guys? It's the following day from picking up that engine and uh, we're going to do a compression test right now with my starter and trans bolted up to it. We just got everything connected and I forgot the camera in the house. That's why I'm walking back over to the garage right now. So uh, I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Got our little setup here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little compression test. You want to hit it real quick just to see? I got you. Sweet. Thanks bro. Oh yeah, look at that. 155, 160-ish. Oh yeah. So we're gonna go through, check the rest of these cylinders, uh, get the trans and starter off this guy, get the clutch off of it, and then put it up on this stand, flip it over and check the bottom end, see how that looks. We uh, inspected it under the cam last night, looks great. Maybe I'll just uh, check in with you guys and do that after that, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Ready? Yep. One twenty. So she's off the uh, engine hoist and on her stand here next to the JZ. As you see, the JZ is back in time. Got the timing belt on. Winston is just waiting on paint and such to get his uh, plastics and stuff cleaned up to get that all back together. And then we're going to be waiting on the harness. And some other goodies, if you guys want to follow Jay-Z, check out the other videos on the channel and also Winston's channel. He'll be uploading here soon. Sorry, I messed that up. But about the CA. So the issue with this one and why I have it up on the stand rather than just dropping it into my car is because supposedly it needs an oil pump. Now, I don't really want to take my chances and throw it in the car, start it up, hook my sensor up and see, okay, it does have oil pressure. Oh, gosh, no, it doesn't have oil pressure. There goes bearing. I have an oil pump that is on standby that I can buy from a uh, guy on one of the CA sales pages. Uh, he's in Connecticut. He's got a brand, brand new one in the gas. Uh, blah, 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 blah. He's got a brand new one in the box uh, for $130 ship. So I'm on the fence with that or just taking my old one that I just kind of want to replace anyways because I kind of damaged it and stuff taking it off and I'm not 100% sure how I feel about reusing it, but it's right back here if you guys can't see it. Um, I kind of thought about just slapping that on there because I know it works, but I might be safe and just uh, order that pump from that guy. 
uh, save myself 50 60 dollars rather than ordering it from Nissan and then get that guy on there get it all back together and then throw it in the car uh, as you guys saw the compression checked out besides uh, cylinder 3 I mean it's not the best in the world but it's gonna get me to the event that I want to go to by uh, November 21st which is the Black Friday event uh, I'm upgrading the turbo upgrading the clutch got an Exeti clutch here if you guys want to check that out you may or may not be able to where is it it's in there somewhere it says Exeti on it somewhere I've bolted down the uh, uh, flywheel or excuse me the uh, pressure plate onto it so anyways believe me when I say that's an Exeti clutch uh, this is the ISR T25, T28 hybrid, nice steel, stainless steel tube manifold there. Uh, it's got the silicone hoses here and there, and he's uh, deleted a few things, but I'm probably going to swap my intake manifold onto it, because I don't have uh, the uh, AAC and the uh, IA uh, intake, I, idle air, I don't even know how to, I always get confused. Intake, idle air control valve, something like that. Um, you guys know what I'm trying to say here. Uh, get that stuff off just pull this whole thing off I'll probably use the injectors out of this uh, engine because one of mine had a cracked um, which I'm gonna call it on it here not the housing itself but the actual nozzle right here on the other one they're in the house but that part cracked and it fell off so I don't really feel safe using that that was freshly painted too I don't really feel safe using that cracked injector so I'll probably just use these ones because these are known good injectors and I can throw a video in of this car actually drifting doing a little bit of parking lot drifting in the rain you guys can kind of hear it and see that it ran and drove and um, obviously we did the compression test so we know it's got life in it, it turns over and such so uh, with that being said guys we're gonna just rip into it I probably won't film all that nonsense because you guys have seen this a hundred times and uh, I'll just check in with you in a little bit when we uh, get this thing apart and see what's up with it down there on the bottom end What's going on guys? So I've got the engine all apart. I've got the oil pan, everything off right here as you guys can see, obviously. Now a few things that I did notice. I'm gonna throw in a video. When I first got the oil pan off, I sent it to the previous owner. The uh, engine here, it, it lost oil pressure for a split second, the previous owner states. Now he said the oil light flickered on and off. He parked it immediately, put it on a tow truck, towed it home, and it's been parked since. Now for the most part, I believe him because Everything is checking out. Let me grab my phone here. Everything is looking really clean for an oil pump to fail for a couple seconds or, I mean, I think if an oil pump failed for a minute, I feel like the engine would be gone or toast, you know, the bottom end. So here is a, uh, you wanna grab that bearing for me real quick? Gotcha. Thanks, man. Here's this bearing and cap. You can see a little bit of scarring right in it, but it's nothing too major. I mean, for what it is, you know, they could be replaced, obviously, but, you know, this is just to get me back to the track on the road. Thank you, Winston. Appreciate it, bro. Um, so that checks out. And then another thing, whoever was in the engine before put the pistons in in the wrong order. Now let me see if I can zoom in and show you here. There, you see it says number four. Well, that is the first piston. So... One of two things, somebody was either in this engine, they honed it, put new rings on it, or had a machine shop hone it, clean it up. This oil pump looks really, really, really new, really clean. It doesn't make sense as to why somebody replaced the oil pump and not do machine work, but you never know. It's gonna make you a little mad, but whoever was in the bottom end didn't do tidy tidy, used RTV, you lost your pickup tube and your hardware. Yeah, if this bottom end is fucking okay, bro, then I'm running this oil pump. So with that being said, I'm just slapping my strainer for my engine on. I've got my hardware, and as you guys saw in that video, this person was using this strainer. Um, it got a little tweaked up here. There's a, yep, you can see it there. It's kind of bent on the bottom, and they were using RTV for the gasket. You see if I can find the little, there it is. This is just a little RTV gasket. So that's why it would lose oil pressure. I'm going to throw everything back together, drop it in my car, and pray that it has oil pressure. I think it's going to work just fine. Can't see why it wouldn't. And we're going to send it. Well, instead of the JZ, it's the CA. I don't know why I do this to myself. I guess because I am just ready to get this engine in there. I have just about everything. Here's my little list. 
Obviously I bought the engine. It's been updated if you guys couldn't tell from the beginning of the video, but got everything torn down, retorts, got uh, new gaskets on here. Got some RGV up here in the front, RGV on the uh, oil pan that's all sealed up. Fuel lines are on here, deleted those hard lines in the back. Got the vacuum line for the brake booster here. Butterfly and EG or uh, uh, fuel pressure regulator. Got this plum crankcase breather down here. A little crazy with a lot of hose clamps, but I uh, couldn't use the uh, OEM hard line that's over here because of uh, this water line that's ran over here to the turbo. But I've got that tucked up nice and neatly. Tucked right there next to the exhaust. Got this guy wrapped around for the oil feed, oil drain. Got a little clip on there. That guy's holding that in place, so that'll be out of the way. I'll probably pull that up a little bit when we go drop the engine in there. Everything's on there. Oil pressure sending unit for the oil cooler. Got this oil filter on it. I'm going to get a new one, obviously, and change the oil that's just on there. We're good to go. There's my alternator bracket. Just a KA bracket, just modified, cut, and bent a little bit. We are good to go, guys. Probably sometime this week, if not tomorrow or today, whatever you want to call it, uh, we'll be dropping this guy in there. You know, after we bolt up the trans, get the starter on there, get everything good to go. We'll uh, hopefully get the car in there, get the harness, and fire up and get back to drifting. So, I'll see you guys when. Uh, it's time to uh, bolt the trans up and get everything situated. Actually, I might check in with you with the harness because I'm going to clean the harness up a little bit more before I drop it back in the car. So, I'll see you guys then. So, today is the day that the engine will be going into my S13. We've got everything bolted up and we've got the engine on the cherry picker right here. What we're going to be doing is uh, cleaning up everything right here in the garage so we can roll this thing out. And I forgot to update you guys and film, but I did paint my bay while. Uh, I was uh, prepping everything, so we're uh, with this new uh, mint color here. That's why I kind of went with the pink, save the tatas, you know. I'm a booby man myself, so we're going to uh, pull all this uh, tape off and stuff off this wiring harness, get this engine uh, or get this car jacked up, get the front bumper off of it, and then we'll drop the CIN and get everything bolted up. I went and got an oil, oil filter, fuel filter, and uh, I ordered some spark plugs. So I'm just going to use the plugs that were in the engine before just to make sure that it starts up runs here at idle do the whole nine yards and then uh, from there guys we will button everything up i still need to get a radiator because i sold the mishimoto with the white car that actually ended up failing so i got really lucky with that i feel bad for the guy that i sold it to because i really like that radiator but it did fail on the guy so he had to get a new one anyways watching it, sorry bro uh yeah we're just gonna get this guy in here sorry about the wind and stuff it's a really windy not stormy day it did storm this morning um, but it's just kind of crazy right now the weather with this cold front and stuff coming through so let's uh, just uh, hop right in and, and get this engine in here no time to waste all right guys so we got the engine in the car everything is bolted up we've got to do a few things like get a transmission mount um, that one that urethane mount that I have that ripped uh, when I wrecked the car street drifting and then uh, I've got to tighten down the engine mount bolts that are on the uh, cross member side or the, the subframe side whatever you want to call that on the bottom end and then lastly, I'm probably going to have to get an igniter. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, here's a little one that's for the CA. This is the one that I've got the part number here for. Um, let's say 220085M, either 00 or 00. There we go, you see a little bit better there. That guy, we're not getting any spark at the coil packs. We're getting fuel and everything. Everything's up there. As you guys can see the engines in here, or barely see. The lighting's kind of terrible. Uh, everything's cleaned up, all the wiring and stuff is tucked where it needs to be, everything's wired up. Just got to figure out what that issue is. So, we're going to get an igniter, uh, hopefully within the next couple days. The guy that I bought the engine from, he has one down at Tampa, he said he'd ship it up to me. And we're also going to run up to the junkyard tomorrow and check that out and see if we can find one in a Q45 or just any other Nissan that might have a uh, like 4 to uh, 5 prong igniter. So. Uh, that being said guys, that's about all I got for tonight. I'm a little frustrated, a little annoyed, so um, I don't really have much to update you guys on. I've got to trim a little bit on my pig nose bumper to get that to fit over the bash bar in the front because the little lights are hitting, little turn signal lights. And other than that guys, we are uh, just in the final stretch getting this thing 
uh, starting up, well, start it up and running. After that, I'll just have to put some new coilovers on it, do a bolt check, and we should be good to go drifting. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'll check in with you tomorrow and uh, figure out about this uh, igniter issue and this no spark issue.